Automobiles. So are battery powered homes the answer? Best known for wowing the world with its electric cars, Tesla is now turning its energy to battery-powered homes. This little product we call the Tesla Powerwall, and it looks like a beautiful sculpture on the wall. The Powerwall is a power storage unit that collects solar during the day and then enables you to use it at night time. Basically, if you have solar panels on your roof, any spare power will be soaked up by the battery. It means you can save the energy and use it when the sun isn't shining. You could also use it during off-peak pricing, so if if you didn't have solar, you could power it off the grid during off-peak times. The idea is to reduce power bills and boost reliance on renewable energy. Fitzner family is the first in Australia to test drive Tesla's new technology in their Sydney home. I'm ready to, you know, hit social media with it and brag about the fact that I've got one, um, just so the other nerds can look upon me and, and worship. Without getting too technical, the batteries hold 7 kilowatt hours. The average Aussie household uses around 15 kilowatt hours a day, which means the battery isn't going to take Nick's family completely off the grid unless he installs a bunch of them. I have ducted air conditioning, I have a pool to run, and so during the day I can use the solar panels to do all that, and then at night when we're home for dinner or other things, the electricity runs the rest of the house. But Nick's new toy isn't cheap with a price tag of almost 17 grand for the panels and battery. In the past, his power bills have been a couple of grand a year, so he reckons it'll be several years before he recoups the costs of his investment. I want to do something positive to help with renewables. It will save me money on the long term, but also it's about me being a bit of a nerd and actually enjoying this kind of technology. It might be a good looking gadget, but with an average cost of 15 grand, the jury is still out on whether it's worth it. Even if you've got a solar system within your house already and you're just getting the Tesla Powerwall battery device, you're going to at best recoup that cost within around 10 years. So this stuff's pretty expensive. The good news is we've never been more conscious of our carbon footprint, which means demand will only go up, bringing prices down. But it will take time. I think we're going to uh, see quite a slow pickup on this. The point where people will adopt it is where you see the price point jump down to around the two to three thousand dollar mark. So just how much is it going to change the way the world consumes and stores energy? I don't think the Tesla Powerwall is on its own the future of renewable energy. I think it's a very good first play. We're about to see a huge change in renewable energy and I think battery storage will be at the forefront of that because it will accelerate that transition to sustainable energy within the home. It's, I mean, it's very expensive and it's hard because you need people to buy it so the price comes down, but you kind of want to wait until the price comes yeah, down before, before you yeah. do it. But also, you'd need to do your sums really carefully, wouldn't you? Because, like, in different states, there's different tariffs that apply and all that sort but of stuff. But if it's already got the solar panels, it's, it's only about five grand for the, the connector, so... So maybe. you're going to do it? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. It's the first time I've heard about it. If the batteries run out, can you just go over there and give them a bit of a roll just to get a few, <laughs> more, just get a few more minutes out of it? You just, you just lick them to see whether or not they're still <laughs>